Man United take on West Ham this weekend in the Premier League in what some would say is a must win. I feel like every time I speak about a match preview, it's always a must win when it comes to Man United because at any given point, if we lose a game, our manager is gone, right? If we lose a game, it's a complete meltdown. So a must win game for Man United against West Ham. West Ham sitting in 15, Man United sitting in 12 on the Premier League table. Both of us, page two, FC, embarrassing to the core. West Ham, only three points behind us. If they beat us, they will go ahead of us. But what can we expect from Man United? What can we expect from the team that Eric Ten Hag could put out since what we saw against Fenerbahce was extremely interesting? Let's get into this preview. Welcome to the Red Devils Den. Man United, West Ham this weekend in a must win. Like I said, what is Eric Ten Hag going to do in this game? How can we approach this game? Who is going to play? Where are the players going to play? Bruno Fernandes is back. How does that affect the way we play? Were we better without Bruno Fernandes against Fenerbahce? I'll put that to the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Were we better against Fenerbahce in terms of our style of play without Bruno Fernandes playing? If you enjoy the content, remember to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, what team will we be going with for the game against West Ham? Remember, Bruno Fernandes is back, so everything clicks back into gear. This is what is probably going to be happening. Andre Onana in goal. Mazraoui, Delit, Martinez, Dallo. Simple. Picks itself every week. We have no one else other than Lindelof. Although, some people might say Johnny Evans might stake a claim to coming into this game. Now, do I personally think Johnny Evans should come in and play against West Ham? No, I should not. But do I think Eric Ten Hag was resting him? <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. Why are we resting a 36-year-old to come and play in the Premier League on the weekend? But I actually think that's what was happening. I think Johnny Evans was being arrested because he's actually going to come back into the team on the weekend. But I, he wouldn't be in my team. As you can see, I didn't select him. But I know Eric Ten Hag has his favorites. And I think Johnny Evans is becoming one of his legitimate favorites. Midfield is simple. Ugarte, Eriksen, Fernandez. Obviously, Bruno is back, so everyone will click into their normal positions. Ugarte in CDM, Eriksen is a number 8, Bruno number 10. The wings pick themselves, Garnacho, Rashford, Hoyland up front. <coughs> the wingers pick themselves, Rashford, Garnacho, Hoyland up front. Hoyland had a pretty decent game. Um, in midweek, I think Garnacho was he's doing is on is in incredible form. So that is my team. Um, I think Marcus Rashford always plays regardless of what his form is like, which obviously it hasn't been very good. But I want to talk for a bit on Bruno Fernandez now. The question is, did Man United play better without Bruno Fernandez than with Bruno Fernandez? Now, obviously, we got to see a team without Bruno against Fenerbahce in midweek. Now, did this team perform better without Bruno? I actually didn't see a massive difference. Although what I would have liked to have seen was Eriksen in the number 10 or Ahmad in the number 10 rather than Masrawi. But the thing that we have to consider is that Bruno is the captain of the team. He's an important integral part of what we do when it comes to Manchester United. He is one of Ten Hag's favorites and he is a hard worker. He clearly loves the club a lot. So I think the thing that we have to be extremely cautious about is that Bruno Fernandes is an important part of this team and he is staying. So what's my score prediction against for Man United against West Ham? I'm definitely going to be going for a 1-1 again. I think we are on a drawing streak and I think this will be a very, very interesting game for Man United. I know that realistically, if we think about it, Man United, West Ham, a decent game. I think under Moyes, they probably would have beaten us. I think with um, a new manager, Tahalm Lopetegui. Um, I think a draw is suitable here. I'll go with the 1-1 draw. You let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think the score might be. I am very interested to see um, how exactly Eric Ten Hag sets up in this game. Does Johnny Evans come back? Obviously, Bruno is back. Uh, Xerxes obviously didn't do very well, but we know Hoyland is our starting striker anyway. So, But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think it's an interesting weekend in the Premier League. We're on a drawing streak. 
Um, we love we love drawing. Uh, I think hopefully if we can find that same form we did against Brentford. Second half, we came out with so much intensity, which I really didn't see in midweek. But if we can do it against West Ham, I think we can get a decent result. I'm going with a 1-1 draw. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.